you are a fan of the Donkey Kong Country series, you may be disappointed that the only entry we've gotten on the Nintendo Switch is a re-release of Tropical Freeze that originally came out on the Wii U. And if you're a fan of the Sonic series, you may be disappointed that the only truly amazing new Sonic game that we got on the Nintendo Switch this particular generation was Sonic Mania. But what if I told you that there is a game that combines what's great about both series into a new platformer franchise, and that is with Kaze and the Wild Masks from Pixel Hive as the developer. I had never heard of them before. But this game features all the things that you would expect from a Donkey Kong Country entry. Instead of rideable animals though, you wear masks that give you special navigation abilities. There's all kinds of multiple types of collectibles in each level that you gotta try to get all different types of collectibles uh, as you go. There are secret bonus areas, which is very reminiscent of Donkey Kong Country that are super challenging, but if you're like me, you feel like you have to get them all completed. And there are a lot of momentum and speed areas that feel like Sonic games. Uh, to say nothing of the fact that we've got a furry protagonist, which also feel a lot like a Sonic game. And if you're like me and you have a certain distrust and hatred toward vegetables, then I have good news for you because all of the enemies in this particular game are sentient evil vegetables. I've loved every stage that I've played of the game so far. I think if it was put out by Nintendo or Sega, it would have got a lot more attention. But I think you should check this indie platform out. It is awesome. But regardless of whether you are a rabbit persona or not, make sure to find the yay in every day. Bye.